everyone, Les here from BG Trading. Hope you are well. Today is 29th of September 2022, and I'll be analyzing the SP500 and ASX200 and sharing my thoughts. Is it, whether, is it a good time to buy GGUS? In fact, let me tell you this. You don't have to watch all this video. I tell you right now up front, I think this is a good time to buy GGUS. Yes, I do. And let's have a look why. Just want to remind you, this is not a finance advice. It's just us from BG Trading sharing with you how we apply our strategies to know when to buy and when to sell stocks, how we set up target, stop losses, avoid FOMO, and much more, all in this channel. So if you like, please subscribe and share this video with someone that you believe will be interested. Also, I would like to invite you to become a member of our free Facebook community, Buy, Grow, Sell, Strategy for Share Traders. We share a lot of great quality content, just like yesterday, teasing about GGUS and also many other sort of stock analysis and market analysis for you. So, um, all you need to do is just answer a couple of questions and I'm going to be putting the link for our uh, Facebook community at the description below. Now let's jump into this analysis. So when we are trading uh, the the US index uh, SP 500, we normally uh, wanted to look into indicators that show us that the market starts sort of turning around. And one of the indicators that's that's uh, widely used is the volatility index, which I can uh, we can I've just opened here. And we have this first red candle on the volatility index. Volatility index uh, basically uh, measure uh, measure the fear in the market. Okay, and then it's the it start turning around, which means the market uh, could have been sold off. Okay, so this is the first indicator that we do, and now we apply our own indicators on the chart formation. And uh, I'm going to go specifically to uh, GGUS as a, as a, as a chart formation to show you how uh, it uh, how does it uh, swings in terms of uh, price. Now, first to understand what GGUS means, if you don't know, I have, I'm going to put the link for uh, GGUS uh, explanation, but GGUS basically is a beta share geared US equity funds. I'm going to uh, explain you very, very quickly in a very short uh, wording. So basically, if SP500 goes up 10%, the GGUS goes up 20%. And if it, uh, SP500 goes uh, down 10%, GGUS go down 10%, uh, sorry, 20%. So it's a leverage position. So we're going to give you uh, a double of the movement of SP500, okay? So now, uh, provided that the VIX starts sort of turning around uh, and also uh, we are in kind of really close to the bottom of this cycle here, uh, as you can see, it is a bear market uh, we have this uh, pink line, which is the SP, uh, the SMA 250, one of our indicators that show us whether the, the, whatever stock or the market that we're analyzing is bearish or it's bullish. This is obviously is a bearish formation, but we have been making uh, pretty good positions out of the bear market. In fact, we actually shorted uh, ASX 200 index uh, about a month ago. <clears throat> We, we believe we also can be making good money out of uh, a falling market. The way it is to be done is that uh, basically use this GGUS to buy when it is trading at technically discounted price. But you ask me, what is technically discounted price? Well, that's one of the terminology that we teach you. Uh, in our online course. So I'll teach you now. Technically, this candle price is anytime that candles are trading above, uh, below the SMA, the red line, uh, uh, more than 10% below, and the candle is trading almost 20% below for the whole index. So basically, I would say that SP500 is uh, on the short term, is on sale.
on the long term. Not so sure because we're actually in a bear market and then we could see a further degradation of that. And now uh, that's all to do with the hike of interest rates and how high will be the CPI over the next couple of months. Hopefully, US managed to control uh, inflation and then the stock market start going up again uh, f- for the long term. But in the short term, I'm very confident that we have opportunity for at least 20%. At least 20% that will be paid off uh, in uh, some s- sometime between October and November. Obviously, there's no guarantees in the market, but I can assure you this is uh, this is it's not a, a chart formation of a crash. SP500 is not actually crashing, guys. It's just a downtrend. I'll show you what crash is. Crash is, this is a crash we, we had in COVID. Okay, this is a crash. This, this is what a crash looks like, market crash. So if you uh, watch videos talking about market crashing, no, market is not crashing. Market is going down gradually. That's what's happening, all right? Not crashing. So back to this. Um, it's still a red candle on a Hekinach. Obviously, we want to buy open the first green candle, but I'm very confident that we'll see uh, this first green candle between today and the next couple of days. But I would <clears throat> already start to look into open a position uh, here on this and try to take this advantage of potential bounce back in October. Uh, now, uh, I'm going to answer one of the questions. Why I'm not doing uh, Australian uh, index this time? No. Why are you not going gear? Gear is the Australian version of uh, GGUS. Okay. And the reason I'm not going to do Australian version this time, first of all, because um, uh, there is a problem with China economy at the moment, and Australia is the greatest uh, Chinese importer of iron ore, sorry, exporter of iron ore. If if iron ore prices keep falling, uh, we all know that our index is formed by a bunch of uh, iron ore companies, the heavyweight BHP, uh, Rio, Fortescue, uh, mineral resources. So we don't want to be exposed to that. And I believe there's a much uh, a better upside by this time going with um, uh, going with SP500 rather than SX200, okay? Uh, despite, uh, you still could see a bounce back on the back of uh, US going up. Uh, we tend to replicate that, but maybe not as much if iron ore prices still stays low. So I'm going to pick up this time GGUS and go with SP500, okay? This is other reasons I believe uh, BBUS, sorry, GGUS could be a good opportunity to buy at the current chart formation. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be answering all the questions. I read all the comments and do not hesitate to put your comment in there. Thank you very much. This is all for now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. The whole idea when we designed BG Trading BGS20 strategy was to use only a set number of indicators to make it simple and clear to understand and to be able to apply our KPIs very easily and very effectively. So you don't have to be any Wall Street smart person to be able to apply those strategies. We really hope this course will help you to make better decisions and make successful trades. See you in the course.